Us wardens are so back. We've seen a major turnaround in the last week. I can feel the high morale in every city I drive through. I was filling up my EMAC queues in Maiden's Vale when Chubby Tigers asked if I wanted to join for an adventure. I told Mr. Chubby Tigers that I could only be on for about 30 or 45 minutes because I needed to get to bed early tonight, but I ended up being stuck in the Deadlands for six hours. Chubby Tigers' main goal was to build watchtowers and protect our lodgy from any partisans. So we built watchtowers. Lots of watchtowers. There's going to be a few collies here and there that love sticky. Yeah. For the most part, it's going to be this. Yeah, we'll get around to that. I'm going to do another one on this border here. There's a small gap. While we were building up our intel, we had four artillery guns aimed at Callahan's Gate, raining shells down and keeping the Colonials trapped inside. With almost every area in the northeast corner of the Deadlands covered with a watchtower, we headed back to the bunker base. It's lucky that we got back when we did because some light tanks were hunting for us and moving up towards our bunker base. Uh, yeah, it's a light tank, a uh, collie light tank. Okay, we're going north. Those tanks and some colonial infantry had taken out a few of our watchtowers while we were back at the base. I prefer to just take a lot of ammo and be really liberal. Yeah. Like a lot of suppressive fire, just... Yeah. I want that barrel glowing red. This intel was very important to keep up, not only to protect our Lodgy players to keep bringing us supplies, but also to protect our artillery group from any kind of partisan rush. With the light tanks gone for now, we went out and continued building watchtowers. Yeah, they're not having that. Spray and pray, Careful spray and pray. So some range. Down. <laughs> I'm dead, man. Another guy in the tree over there. Let me die. Just keep us covered. That's beautiful. I like that a lot. Hey, Robert. Yeah. Another one? Yeah, what's going on? I love you. You got oh. me into this game. Thank you. Oh, have no good, problem. Have a good one. Hey, you as well. Cheers. It's a beautiful line down the trench. It is, I like that. Uh, you love to see it. Uh, we're getting asked for an escort. While building these towers, Chubby Tigers had received a request to help escort a Tremola operation that would be targeting the safe house in Callahan's Gate. Hey guys, come on, come on, come on. Got a CV up there. We did our best to help cover the Tremola crew while they shot at the safe house. Just watch this left side. On the hill, on the hill. More Kamala here. Oh, nice. We almost got the safe house. Oh, coming on our. It was so trenches. close. Uh oh. I don't think this is. Yeah, this is. Not <laughs> well then, let me. What's up, my do brother? You. What's up? The safe house would not go down from this medium-sized Tremola operation. We would need more firepower. Can't wait for this to be a fucking video. <laughs> we gotta take the town for the video, so you better get up there. Well, yeah, fair enough. That's fucking fair. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just I'm just chilling. I don't know if I'm editing anything from this. <laughs> Maybe Chubby and I make Honestly, him watch towers. I'll make a whole video out of it. 
You might be asking, why didn't the artillery crew fire at the safe house? It's because the artillery crew was more focused on the concrete to the north and to the west side of Callahan's Gate. They were also focused on keeping the storage depot destroyed in the city so the colonials would starve for supplies, and they were making sure to counter any arty that was trying to hit them as well. They had a lot higher priorities than this safe house. As a lot of you know, I hate doing any combat at night. I would much rather fill in a crater by myself than do any fighting at night. So that's what I did. I noticed while shoveling that the arty crew could use an extra loader, so I decided to help out. We need more loaders, sure. guys. Anyone want to volunteer? Just, uh, for one more. Just for... Also, I might help these guys load unless you need a need me right now. No, we're just chilling for now. I okay. figure when it's morning. Okay, when it's morning, I'll hop back over. I'm gonna go help loader, them load. Please. If you have some extra time and need a break from the front, always feel free to ask the arty crew if they need an extra body to help load shells. All right, I got this gun. Everyone call a gun that you got. Ugly, I got this one. Oh yeah, I got you. Oh my gosh, run! So cool. Everyone pick a gun, stick with it. We'll go, we get here. I'm gonna go back and grab the defenses. Thanks, Robin. Yeah. Left five, What's so three zero, six. Three, zero, six. Three, zero, six. three zero six. Three zero six. Three zero six. Sorry, it's my first time on the front. That needs more ammo. Hold on. Never look at the map in a loading area. I'm packaging. No! no! Oh! No! Died! Oh shit! Well, that's not gonna be the only uh, person these shells kill. Okay, guys, keep firing. the only warden. While loading shells, Mr. Chubby Tigers received another escort request for another Tremola operation. All right, we're gonna do escort. They're doing another Tremola rush. Okay, coming. I'm gonna need another loader for this one right here. I left the Artie crew and hopped back into the tank. Are we moving? Let's go, guys. Party time. Woo woo. Lots of mines. Careful, tank. Yeah. Everybody aim straight for the safe house. Straight for the safe house. Nothing up. I'm gonna run in it. I'm gonna go run. You gotta watch that ledge. That ledge is like. Yep, if you're in range, then we're good here. Yep, I'm in range of the safe You know button. what I'm gonna do? Do you know what I'm gonna do? Build the watch. You're goddamn right. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. It's really damaged. The it's safe house so is close. Damaged. We once again failed to take down the safe house. Yeah. 
Yeah. Dude, we just need more people. More people and more tremolas. That's uh, all that we coming need. Around, coming You just one tap him? I think <laughs> infantry did. Taking my crap. One ATR on the ridge. Care? Care? ATR on the ridge. After making a million watchtowers, Chubby Tigers needed to get some sleep, and I was getting quite tired myself. Yeah, I need peanuts. I'm starting to get tired. I might put the tank in. Okay. It has been kind of a long day. I appreciate the invite. It's been fun. Yeah, thanks for gunning for me, man. From anytime. But as we were returning to the base to park the tank, we could hear panic and chaos all around. Shells were sniping our bunker base, and I knew I couldn't log off now without making sure that I kept this base alive. I might get out and try and repair this bunker. Oh, hey, Robert. Hey. Your videos actually got me back into this game. Hey, so I'm glad to hear that. Awesome. <laughs> Holy shit, look who it is! Must be your videos made me download the game. Ah, oh, nice. Hey, take it easy, man. Hey, you too, Chubby. His videos made me <laughs> <everybody laughs> Stop, man! Everyone panic. Beep, beep. Bunkers at 72. We might need some extra repairs. Don't worry, boys. Our night crew is better than theirs. Front pieces, Robert. The tier two's out there. Right, thank you. Tier two's. Don't thank worry, you. Don't worry about the engine. Oh. Oh, Robert loves games. No. Let's get some shovels. Can we get like two or three people shoveling this real quick? Oh, we got. Everyone around did a great job at focusing on repairing and we were able to keep our little base alive for now. Oh. As we were repairing, our arty group kept on firing. Check. We are going to be at 276. 276. Two seven six distance, two eight five Azzy. Just leave craters behind. Destruction and death will rain from the skies. Only ashes will remain. The 27th clan had a steady stream of Lodgy players bringing in shells from Maiden's Vale. There was an ammo factory in Maiden's Vale that was only about 5 to 10 minutes away. It was an extremely short trip from this ammo factory to our arty guns, and there were a lot of shells that we could use, so the flatbeds kept supplying our arty crew. Anytime one pallet was about to be out, another pallet would show up. After making sure everything was repaired at the base, I still had the watchtower building itch and yearned for more intel, so I just kept building watchtowers. We eventually took down the safe house and our tanks and infantry were able to push up into the city. I found some extra bee mats on the ground and wanted to, of course, build a watchtower right next to the town so we could get some super intel. Good shit. 
I also went and built a watchtower on the west side of the city. This way we could see everything that the colonials were doing. We even had some tanks cutting off their lodgy to the west. We were actually pushing pretty well into the city. I knew this push wouldn't get far as our armor was small and our infantry crew was very few. To take this city completely, we would need to wait for more reinforcements. After dying on the front, I spawned back and heard the arty crew needed some assistance once again. And after dying once on the front, that was enough for me. And I decided helping the arty crew would be a lot more relaxing. The artillery operation was led by the 27th clan and supported by other warden soldiers as well. This group operated like a well-refined machine. I haven't seen an efficient artillery group like this since weathered expanse in War 112. Well done to the 27th for setting up these guns, bringing all the shells in, and firing them at the colonials. My current is 228. 220, 220. As we continued to fire, more and more soldiers needed to get some sleep. Our numbers were getting quite low. Kill me. We were eventually overrun by the Colonials and had lost our south bunker and were pushed back to the border base. With a refinery close by, we were able to deliver thousands of BMATs in a short amount of time and start to rebuild our front. We were slowly inching our way up the road building defenses and bunker bases. The next day, reinforcements had arrived and we were able to build a bunker network down the main road. Our arty team was re-established and raining shells down on Callahan's gate once again. but this time we had a greater infantry and armor presence. Get out of the way. We had pushed up to their town base. Oh, they got their depot back up, so they're spawning a bunch of jeeps. <laughs> oh. 
Infantry and armor were mowing down any soldiers that came out and Artie was raining shells down on top of them. I got the watchtower itch again and wanted more intel, but this time things didn't go as planned. Protect me, protect me. No, oh, kill that motherfucker! Protect me, protect me. Oh, no, no, no. oh my gosh, you guys! Sorry. Callahan's Gate was a really fun fight. GG's to the Colonials and my fellow Wardens. Again, a great job to the 27th for their arty crew in supplying that battle. And thanks to any other groups I might not have mentioned as well. We've made some great gains this last week, Wardens. Let's push it some more with this Warden weekend. How has War 113 been going so far for you? What's been your favorite battle? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you are excited about anything for the new update. Thank you all so much for watching and for your support. Make sure to subscribe for more Foxhole content. I'll see you all out on the battlefield. Cheers.